All right, this is a Ford Spectron. It's a 1993 four-wheel drive, right-hand drive, 2.0 turbo diesel. It's a Japanese domestic uh, market vehicle. This is the, uh, the interior. Um, this seat does actually spin around. So I'm gonna go ahead and install both seats and then put the child seats in the middle of each one to be a little safer from side impact. I've got these things here. These are deer whistles and you buy these at the hardware store and they're, you put them on the front bumper and they whistle for animals and the animals can hear it and we can't. So I hope it's not a gimmick, but people say it works. All right, so just before I put like all the car seats in and stuff, I just wanted to show you, I put this other seat in here. Um, I don't think there's anyone out there that's gonna need to put in this back seat and you'll probably be able to figure it out like I did. It took me a little while to figure out how to put that in, but uh, I still gotta put the seat belt in, but this thing does lay down as a bed. Um, I laid on it, it's actually pretty comfortable. I don't have any real back problems or anything like that, but um, I could see where someone would be like, my back would hurt. But uh, yeah, it's totally fine for like camping trips or just like laying this down to put surfboards on or kayaks or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, pretty comfortable. I almost fell asleep. So anyway, that's the update. And then uh, give this thing a vacuum and put the car seats in and we'll go for a little drive. All right, so we'll just take a look at the engine here. Um, the engine compartment is underneath the passenger seat. And there's some little hooks here. You just pop up this one. And then there's another one over here that gets popped up. And then there is like this little center thing that just pops off of it. <laughs> hard to do two hands or one hand so I've just got the little strap coming comes back from the seatbelt thing and I'm just putting it on here I think it actually goes down here but various accoutrements of the engine here it looks pretty good 44,000 kilometers on it so um this thing has a nice little so you can get in and out, and I can get back there and put him in. Um, this is just a big car seat, so we might have to get another smaller one. But hey, let's take this thing for a spin, and uh, I'll go on a little rant as we drive and talk about it. Just wanted to show the six lug automatic locking set up here. out and about here pretty cool to have this Ford badge this is a Mazda Bongo I think I explained that before if I didn't this is a Mazda Bongo it's badged as a Ford Spectron for the Japanese market and everything about this is Bongo except um, it's just got some Ford skeleton features Glow, uh, glow plugs. I don't know if you noticed there's a glow light, so I just wait for those to warm up and then we go. All right, so we should be keeping these types of cars on the road. 90s vehicles are pretty cool. I grew up in a 90s Toyota van. That's the backup alarm. Anyway, I'm just a little bit nostalgic for the sort of 90s general um, got a lot of cool things out of the 90s internet I'm a big fan of keeping these things on the road um, and uh, you know my goal here is like 20 years I want to have it as like a 20 year car at least um, and kind of try and use it as a daily driver um, just a family family van I know a lot of people like to um, um, convert these into campers I do want to do that um, I don't have any plan on doing it anytime soon. I will use it for camping, but I'm not going to do like, I'm not going to try and live in this thing. Although it would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. 
Yeah, and then as far as gas mileage, I've been driving for about three weeks, and to be honest, um, I didn't believe the hype on the internet where people were saying that they were getting upwards of 40 miles to the gallon, but at this point, um, I'm pretty convinced that I'm getting that kind of gas mileage. So, which is cool. Um, diesel, to me, I'm a fan of because I don't, uh, we got a lot of, you know, I don't know, instability in the world. You never know if so suddenly we can't get oil anymore. This thing can run on veggie with a, a swap of the fuel filter and all of a sudden we're running veggie and driving around on salad dressing and stuff. So we'll fix things as we go and, and we'll try it out. And um, so this is kind of the intro video. I've had it for a couple of weeks. And um, as I find little things or if, I, if something breaks, I'll definitely, um, update so smash that subscribe button uh, I'm trying to do some more stuff on my website so you'll probably see these types of posts like on the weekends when I can just like uh, uh, don't have to post about work stuff so yeah back to work I go super stoked thanks for watching and uh, subscribe